And one of the ones that I will go more in depth into because it's very relevant in the discussion we're having here is the ESOP web filter. Um, the web filter is obviously all about configuring your web filtering policy. So the first place you'll probably want to go is clicking on the categories and you get a huge list of categories and you can say what people are and aren't allowed to go to. So I can say, well, anonymizers, that's proxies, don't want to allow that. Uh, probably don't want to allow porn, uh, maybe nudity. Uh, there's a lot of other things, you know, gambling, maybe you don't want people playing games on the web, um, hate speech. Uh, also, you can optionally just log things. So say you want to know who's looking for a job but not actually block them. You can just log it as a violation. So here's where you set up your basic web policy. And then you just hit update. And that would then be enforced on the network. So at that point, if a user goes to playboy.com, instead of seeing playboy.com, they're going to interrupt it saying, this page is blocked because it's considered inappropriate with the message below. And actually, you can customize this page with your own logo, your own contact information, and things along those lines. You can also do more specific things, you know, say, well, you don't want to block a whole category, but you have a problem with some specific site, you can say, uh, no Facebook, um, no MySpace, whatever. Um, if you disagree with some of the sites that are in the categories, you can actually pass list those. So say you want to block all social networking except Facebook, or you want to block all Wikipedia except one page, you can do that as well. Um, you can also get into file types and mind types, what people are allowed to download and what they're not. And one of the parts I won't go too in-depth into right now is you can also set up multiple different ESOF web filters. Um, you can actually build multiple virtual racks with different policies. So the way that normally works in a school is you'll have a default rack and maybe a teacher rack and a student rack. So all the students actually get a totally separate policy from teachers. Um, and you can choose using a base of rules to map traffic to one either the teacher rack or the student rack. You can also do policies by time of day. You can do it all sorts of different ways to give out different policies. 